Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. This next tutorial we're going to work on the decrease stitch and a uh, little bit little bit different. There are two ways that you can do a decrease and uh, I'm, I'm working on the ring that we have been working on in previous tutorials. So if you were doing a decrease they might say to you do a single crochet followed by a decrease. Well this, this is going to be my first stitch here. So I'm going to push my hook through my first stitch and I'll do my single crochet and I'll move my stitch marker. Then they will say a decrease. So a decrease, this is my next stitch here. Do you see it? This one here. If I was doing a single crochet I would go through this one. This is my second stitch next to it right here. Okay, and if I was doing another single crochet after this one I would push through here that is the next one all right so in order to do a decrease you need to go through this second stitch and the third stitch and to do it what we do and I'm working with my wrong size hook I thought things felt a bit odd push your I use a 2.75 push your hook through the second stitch like that then you're going to capture the third stitch on your hook as well. So you need to twist it and push it through like that. Okay, so that you have your initial stitch. The second stitch is two little bands, one and two. And then the third stitch is two little bands. Okay, take a single band and you're going to pull it through that first stitch and then the second stitch even it up and reclaim. So you've gone through two stitches at the same time. You're going to take this one up and over and join. Now that has basically combined those two stitches into one. Okay, then we follow by a single crochet just for this example. Okay, and then again, we'll do a decrease. We'll go through the next stitch and through the stitch next to it. So you have them both on your hook. Take a single band, pull it through and through, even it up a bit and do a single crochet like that. Now the other way of doing it is basically, and it works, I think, nicer with crocheting with yarn rather than bands. I think this way is quite nice, but if you do it with uh, the other way, you basically skip this stitch and you go to the next stitch and you do a single crochet. But I think that leaves a great big whopping hole and I think it looks a lot tidier to do it this way. So this is not my preferred preferred way of doing it, some people would do it. I, as I said, I think it works better with yarn. Single crochet, followed by a decrease, so you'd skip one and go to the next. So I, I think that leaves holes that are too big and you'd see the stuffing through them. So my preferred way, let's do a single crochet, is go through the first stitch after your single crochet and then see the next stitch push your hook through it and you're combining these two stitches together like that and then there isn't this great gaping hole that you get with this one here all right so let's practice 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 that one see how we do that is the decrease or in your patterns it will be a dec decrease or two stitches together two the number two stitches st together tog sometimes it'll be written as that so that's the decrease